Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2021 video tutorial. I want to do that combustion chamber exercise in AutoCAD, at least as far as it is possible. I will upload that start file onto my GrabCAD account and you can download it there. So I've got three polyline profiles here and I want to start with an extrude with that profile here and I need a taper angle of 5 and the length might be 25 that should do then another extrude with this profile make it 80 then just select the surface and move it with that gizmo and continue in that direction and this should be 40. Then add an edge fillet up there so go for fillet edge right click radius should be 5 select the edge enter confirm and we're good. Now let's go for trim I want to trim this surface and that surface. Right click, enter with this one and that one. Right click and I want to remove this side and the upper side of the other surface. Now I could of course make a union or I could try a surface fillet. Anyway, there is no fillet with variable radius. I could maybe simulate that, but that would be very, very time expensive. So I just want to make a union. So go for union, solid union and make those two one surface. And now I could use uh, edge fillet right click radius maybe let's go for one millimeter that should work go for a chain it should go all around and preview and confirm and i'm done because as i've already said there is no edge fillet with variable radius now for the second chamber let's hide this one and go maybe to my surface 2 layer and freeze that layer here okay now i want to do again an extrude surface extrude with this profile right click enter and again make it 80 again move it in that direction continue yes by 40. now i want to do an extrude down there right click enter in that direction and i need a taper angle and this one should be a negative one so i go for minus five degrees and the length maybe 10. I need another extrude with this one or I could go for just a trim a trim where is my trim 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 there's the trim I want to trim now first I have to do of course the fillet I always forget that fillet so go for a fillet edge right click radius should be five select the edge and enter and enter now I want to trim that surface with that curve here. Let's see if that's possible. So go for surface, go for trim, select the surface right here, right click, enter, select that polyline, right click. And now I can remove the outside and enter. Nice. Let's hide those sketches. So freeze that layer. Where are we? Here we are. 
And now I want to use not a loft, but a blend. Okay, surface blend. So go for the surface blend. And I need a chain or select here. Yeah. So go for a chain, go here, right click, enter, and a second chain. This one here. Right click, enter. And you've already got a nice surface here. Now I could change the continuity here from tangent to curvature and here as well. I will just confirm this by enter. And now I could hide this one maybe on my layer zero, which is frozen. So it's hidden. Yes. And now I want to change the bulge, the magnitude of the tangency here. So select it. And there should be somewhere. Another. No, not visible. That's strange. So let's go for the properties and take a look at the properties. So there should be another icon for the bulge, but it's not here. But I don't care. I go for here for the properties and I could change this at the start edge to one. See, so it is, it's more pronounced like this. And I could do the same here and go for one millimeter, as, not one, but one. It's not one millimeter here, go for one. So it looks like this. Looks pretty good. Now I can make a union. So let's go for solid, union, select this one, select that one, right click, continue that operation, and I'm done. Now I could go for realistic. Yeah, looks pretty good. Quite easy to do with that blend command. So I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook app fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more, more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.